Let's play Charles Morphy. Or let's play Maurice. Let's play uh, let's do Maurice. Let's go E4 and IC3 here. Okay, but Maurice is 2,500, so I actually should... I do need to focus a little bit. Okay. Now, the funny thing is Maurice would never play this opening. I knew Maurice when I was younger and growing up. He would never play a, a hedgehog Skeveningen like this. Okay, let's go bishop e3. I'm just going to do this. I know I'm wasting a tempo, but it's, it, it's all in good fun. It's not a blunder, though. Can't I just go here in f4? Huh? What? What is Maurice doing? Maurice, why did you trap your knight? I should have played f4, though. Because this is still good, but it's not it's not easy, easy. Let's go here. I can obviously trade. I don't really want to. I think I'm just going to go rook d1. So now Maurice has a power of tower, or a tower of pow power of tower, tower of power, whatever you call it. Um, but I still should be doing very well here. Because his tower of power means nothing, because it's just three stacks. And I'm just going uno, dos, like, what's it? Yeah, let's go. What's it? Yek, dos, se, char, planche. Five moves. Let's go rook c2. And now I go c5, c6, c7, c8. Oh, wait, no, I misplayed this. What am I doing? I misplayed this. I'm not winning, actually. I somehow trapped... I wasn't paying attention. I trapped my um, I trapped my rook. Hmm, that's a problem. What am I doing? No, I messed this up. I'm just going to resign and restart. I just messed this up. Let's, let's keep going. I messed this up. I should have won that game. Let's go g6, bishop, g7. Maybe c6, d6. Um, let's play d6, a6, b5, maybe. Let's go a6, b5. What? What's wrong, you guys? I speak every language. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I speak. I speak everything. Let's go 97, b6, 97. <laughs> okay, this is a free pawn. Let's just take it. Okay, let's go king. E8, I guess, here. Nah, that's a bad opening. Let's just start over. Okay, let's play E4 here. Let's play D4. Let's go Knight D2. Uh, let's play a proper French opening here. Let's go Knight F3. Whoa! Thank you so much to um, Bob Stuff Live for the 10 gifteds. I don't know if this this is actually ridiculous. What is this queen g6? I've, I've never seen this move in my entire life, so I'm just going to be aggressive. Now, if this was Anish, I could make a draw, but it's not Anish, so I can't make a draw. Let's go here. Hmm? This looks so suspicious. Somehow he's hanging in here, but I mean, this can't be good for black. Let's just castle. Um, I know I'm winning this game, uh, but queen f4, there's queen h6. Maybe I go to f3. I mean, with correct play, I have to be winning here, but it's going to be very hard to win this game cleanly. Oh, I just... Did I blunder? No, maybe not. This is definitely really bad for black. Um, but I'm not really playing very precisely at the moment. Play bishop c4. Bishop b5? That's a Dan... This is such a Daniel classic. Bishop b5 is a Daniel special. Um, what am I doing? I guess I just go here. I'm not happy with this, but yeah. 
I don't like my position, so I'm just going to resign. Let's go E6, D6, Knight E7. No, I mean, I don't care. Like, it's just, I, I don't, I just, if, if I don't like the position, I'm just going to resign and restart somewhere. Yeah, neckties is why I'm playing Maurice right now, and I'm trying to beat Maurice and, and Morphe. Because if I beat Maurice and Morphe, then I could, the other bots are a little bit weaker. Black is winning, I'm just going to resign. Something like that, yeah. Drawing on each is still available, really? Okay, hmm. let's go here. I'm trying to get him to play d5 here. Come on, do a d5. Come on, dude, d5. You know you want to play d5. Basically, the way you trick it is you have to basically encourage it to never push this pawn. I'm actually getting a good position now because I'm, I'm lining up this diagonal here. Let's go here. Okay. Um. Let's go here. Maybe knight g6. I mean, I'm trying to bait Maurice into playing d5 at some point, but he's just not biting, which is really annoying. Okay, now I'll go e5 and just smash the center. Fortunately, takes with the pawn, which is really quite annoying. Let's just double stack it. Maximum pressure here in the center now. Let me play d5, but I'm just going to drop back. Oh, I had d5, d4 maybe. Whatever, let's just play d5 anyway. That first game, I really should have won. I got a great position that first game. These last couple of games, I'm getting decent positions, but not the right positions to win. I guess I'm going to do this. I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to try it. Wow, he does take. What, does he just have C5 or something to smash me? No. Um, okay, Maurice has actually misplayed this a little bit. Wait, isn't that a juicer? Yes, I'm up a pawn. Again, I'm up a pawn somehow, magically. Um, if I play bishop d4, rook d1 is a problem. I can go here, here, here. I can also play g5. No, I can't play g5. That's an illegal move. Um, I guess I'll do this. I don't know if it's right. It looks dangerous. Okay, he doesn't take advantage. Ah, uh, but now I can't go here because then he goes rook d1, he takes, and I lose. Maybe I just... Ah... I have to go here in King G7. I'm not, I'm, this is, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna waste five minutes. I, I would draw this position, but I, I, it's better to start over again than waste five minutes drawing. Because it's an open cat. Uh, why did I do that? Let me start over. Let me start over. I don't want to do that. Um. Whatever. Let's just play Sicilian. Yeah. Because this is an open challenge, so like someone, so time does matter here. This isn't just beating all the bots. Let's see. Let's play G6. I'm gonna try this maybe three more times. If it doesn't work, I'll just go back to what I was doing before. Okay, this is a good position already. Good position to start. Yeah, Nixon's um Nixon's beat Hikaru bot earlier, yeah. Let's go here A4 maybe, Bishop A6. What? Oh, did I just blunder something? I just blundered. Rook f7, queen d8. Wow. 
If I take and go back, is this actually bad? I'm sure it's losing somehow, but I just want to see it. Because if, if I'm if I if I'm right and it's not losing, then I'm just up a piece and I'm gonna win this end game. But probably I'm lost or not really. Wait, no, okay, Maurice actually blundered finally. Okay, now I'm up a piece. Now now we're back in business. We're back in the game. Back in business. Let's go here, hit the bishop. Let's go here. Let's go here, 96. Okay, now, wait, is he still being dirty? No, I just take and I go queen e6. Okay, this is it, you guys. I'm gonna beat Marie Spot here. I'm gonna beat Marie Spot. So, well, just no, no mistakes. Cause that first game I was winning and I messed it up. But this time, no mistakes. Just clean it up, clean up the board neatly. I have one extra op, so um, let's just go here on h6. I can take the juicer here, I guess. I think I should actually just play h3 maybe. Let's go here, king h7 next move. I'm just going to try to liquidate. Yeah, liquidate, not liquefy. I'm going to try to liquidate everything into an end game here. Let's take. Let's just put the king on h7. Um, let's just go here, I guess. Let's go here, force the end game, and now he, he's he's dead. Jim is dead. King g6, end game over. Just take. Okay, let's go here. Okay, so we're gonna beat Maurice bot. So I have to beat Morphe bot. If I beat once I beat Morphe bot, then I'm in good shape. If I can beat Morphe bot, then I'm gonna win the neckties, I believe. Let's go here. I just eat the juicer. Let's go here. Let's go here. There we go. Morphe is 2700, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Morphe has a necktie, yes, or a bow tie, so he's considered to be a tie man. Let's go here. Okay, that's one. Okay, let's play Morphe 